I'm uh, working with a with a group that's got about 500 primary care docs, and I'm, my role is to teach those primary care docs how to do prevention. So I'm doing a lot of travel. Um, most of the viewers of the of this channel have had their challenges uh, getting their doc to focus on prevention. So just multiply that challenge times about 500, and you get an idea about what I do uh, for a living. <clears throat> So again, what's travel got to do with today? Well, USA Today, I, I'm constantly picking up these newspapers at the hotel. Uh, if I'm lucky, I get to read some of the headlines and I keep thinking, you know, that'd be interesting to read and I just never get around to it. Even on the airplane, I'm usually either doing email or uh, Lumosity. <sighs> Uh, if you don't, if you're not familiar with Lumosity, you should be. I'll probably do a vid. I hope to do a video on it uh, one day. It's a great way to exercise your brain to prevent uh, cognition, cognitive decline. But anyhow, in USA Today uh, on uh, 5:31, I actually this uh, caught my eye, and I actually read the article. Start colon screening at uh, 45 instead of 50. Now, where did that come from? It actually came from the American Cancer Society. So, um, <clears throat> we'll talk about that in just a minute. But first, an introduction and uh, a couple of comments. But before the introduction, a little bit of discussion about cancer, colon cancer screening. I haven't done anything on colon cancer. I've been mostly focused on cardiovascular inflammation. Now, <clears throat> uh, I needed to, and here's why. I needed to do something on colon cancer screening. And I've, again, there's just uh, more topics than there is time. Colon cancer is the number two cause of death of cancer. It's the number two, number two cancer in the country for, uh, for both genders. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't have to be. Uh, screening knocks out 60% of cancer deaths. There are 28 million uh, Americans not up to date on their colon cancer screening today. And one of the reasons has, has to do with the fact that uh, people don't like to get a colonoscopy. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Now, there are 51,000 deaths from colon cancer every year in the U.S. alone. 60% of those could be prevented with proper screening. This is one of those things where if you screen, you catch it early, you prevent the death. I mean, you know, it's like, <clears throat> that's what this channel's about. So, um, the, the bottom line is, I, I couldn't resist it. I love that, uh, that image. Stay one step ahead if you're behind. Get checked for colon cancer. Um, <clears throat> so, a brief introduction and, and the rest of the article. Um, and yes, this will have to be a series. I will go into a little bit more depth in the next videos about the differences between different types of colon uh, cancer screening. Although this uh, article in the uh, USA Today will cover some of that as well. Uh, but the introduction, Ford Brewer, F-O-R-D, Brewer, B-R-E-W-E-R, -E uh, PrevMed. Uh, this is the prevention channel. And basically what we do is... Um, work to help people understand how to prevent the big killers and disablers uh, that we're going to run into. Heart attack, stroke, dementia, spent a lot of time on those and as I've mentioned have spent very very little time on colon cancer. So speaking of that let's get back to this. Um, <clears throat> experts urge colon uh, screening at age 45. Now, there's a lot of debate over this. The CDC, for example, if you go to the CDC site, still says age 50. A lot of other places still say age 50. The U.S. Preventive Services Task Force still say age 50. But the American Cancer Society, and yes, I would agree, those guys do know a little bit about this, now recommends age 45. Why is that? Well, um... <clears throat> Recent information, recent studies indicate that uh, there's been a 51% increase 
in um, cancer among people younger than age 50. Now, why is that? I don't think we, all, we know completely. The obesity epidemic certainly has something to do with that. Uh, the increased, um, the epidemic of, um, of hyperglycemia, uh, prediabetes and diabetes. You know, UCLA published a, a study indicating that over half of adults in, um, in California have uh, prediabetes now. And um, a huge portion of those have full-blown diabetes. But both of those are risks for uh, several cancers, this being one of them. Um, <clears throat> now, why are other uh, groups like the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force and the CDC uh, not making that change yet? I think they'll acknowledge that there's been a significant increase in the 45 to 50-year-old um, age groups. Here's the big risk, though, at age 55 and above. So they're still hanging in with age 50. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned, not what? The majority of people that need this screening aren't getting it done. Why is that? Well, <clears throat> let me just tell you a brief story about my own first um, um, colonoscopy, screening colonoscopy. I had it done by a, a friend of mine in my uh, Sunday school class. His name is um, Nathan. Nate, uh, he's, Nathan surprised me when, um, when I went in to meet with him before the test. He said, well, I'm guessing, Ford, that you probably want to be awake at least enough to see what's going on. And um, I said, well, maybe. Let's try it. I'm a lightweight in terms of a lot of things like substances, and um, I went immediately to sleep before uh, before anything got started uh, with the first uh, medication, pre-med. I woke up on the table, and uh, it, it reminded me of the scene in, in the first movie, Alien, uh, where the guy's on the table, and there's a, all of a sudden he wakes up, there's a lot of pain coming out of his belly, and the alien pops out. I actually got a picture of that, and I decided I wasn't going to show that. It, um, it's too much you know, in terms of discouraging people to get this test. But that's actually not the reason that most people um, uh, are not getting, have not gotten their colonoscopy. The, the reason has to do with that bowel prep. You have to take a day off work and drink literally gallons of fluid to get that bowel cleaned out. For the um, for the colonoscopy procedure, just by the way, it, it's not that the colonoscopy is doing any damage. That's not why they have to put you to sleep. It's because in order to for the colonoscopist to see, he needs to inflate the bowel or insufflate the bowel with uh, air or nitrogen, one of a, a gas, and that gas is just like gas that you get with. Uh, uh, colonic upset. It, it can be painful. So, <clears throat> so most of the nation's 140,000 annual cases and 50,000 deaths from colon and rectal cancer occur among people over age 55. So why are these guys saying drop the age from 50 to 45? As I said, again, they're looking at a significant increase there. But here's the thing. The best a uh, colorectal screening test is the one that gets done. That's like exercise and diet. The best diet is the diet that you can actually continue on, not just a couple of months, but change the way you eat. The best exercise is the exercise that you'll actually do. Same thing with, uh, with uh, bowel screening. Now, <clears throat> For the, many folks don't know that there are other types of uh, colon cancer screening um, beyond colonoscopy, and actually there are. There's a DNA test now. I'll show some of that in the in future videos. Um, there's always been what we call fecal occult blood, where you just take a sample of the uh, feces and look for blood in it, and um, then there's uh, obviously the old, or maybe not so obvious, there's a, a way to do a, uh, 
a CT scan of the colon. So um, <clears throat> here's some other uh, points from uh, that quote, by the way, was from Andrew Wolf, University of Virginia. He's uh, the spokesman for the ACE, American Cancer Society um, group that said, let's drop it from age screening age from 50 to 45. And again, that quote is the best colon cancer screening is the one that gets done. Um, any other major points? We've already covered that you've got uh, fecal immunochemical testing, which I'll describe a little bit later um, in, a, in another, another video in this series. Um, the group gave lower rankings to other screening strategies, including CT scans or a school, uh, stool test for blood and DNA. Um, these tests are equally acceptable. But if you have a problem on any of those, then you got to go in and get a colonoscopy. So again, that gets back to some of the challenges that we have in terms of the decision process on what to get. Uh, the colonoscopy is definitive, but it's no fun. Um, <clears throat> I think that covers what, uh, what we need for this video. Again, uh, thank you for your attention, and we'll get a little bit deeper into the decision-making on colon cancer screening in the uh, next video.